those sounding funny but i think this is a serious matter now pensioners go spiritual inequity over unpaid 1.8 billion naira gratitude thank you very much for joining us again this is still serious matters on only tv my name is Olukunle brown and of course um the details are here the nigerian union of pensioners no inequity states has organized a prayer session for all members in the states seeking the intervention of god over the unpaid gratuity amounting to 1.8 billion naira being owed by the state government you see i don't know the way uh senior citizens are being treated in this country is alarming you get as it be seriously because i don't know how a single work for 35 years and they're not going to figure their gratuity or get their pensions. Get us to be. Get us to be. And, you know, governors go to do projects. I think uh, this is, in fact, it, it looks like a, even the civil servants looks like it looks like a forced labor or just a platform for people for survival. And by that, I mean that people just people are just working for the sake of let me just have something to to go home with let me just have it's not like they mean they will mean to um live on that for the rest of their life at least for the meantime which is not supposed to be and it makes it very discouraging to join the civil servants or civil service or even do anything meaningful while being there when they already know that they are not going to get their gratuity or they're not going to get their pay or their pension they're only going to join the labor market of others who have joined who are now in the market of pensioners or old pensioners the chairman of new in the state mr joel akinola who spoke during the special prayer session in Andoiki to the state capital on tuesday where some of the members moved in tears lamented that the state government has abandoned pensioners in its failure to pay the outstanding entitlements which he said members had worked for akinola noted that they organized the intermed interdenominational prayer session um <clears throat> excuse me in Adwaiki to the state capital on Tuesday where uh, some members I said earlier on were moved to tears. It says they organized the international prayer session to God uh to pray to God to touch the lives of the state governments in different areas of the gratuity uh areas I beg your pardon areas of gratuity and pensions since 2012 regretting that pensioners have died without getting their benefits while some were bath battling with various difficulties due to lack of funds to do the needful you know when you when you see people or you hear people die because they couldn't afford you know so li as little as 1000 there as little as 10000 there and they are being owed by a government <sighs> This is serious. Seriously, this is serious. And I think the governments have got to do the needful. Uh, and, you know, it has gotten to a point where they now need to obey God or tell God to intervene. Tell God to intervene. He explained that governments must prioritize and see the welfare of pensioners as an important project like that, like they attend to other areas of government, which, which of course I agree with. Adding that members are facing tough times across the 16 local government areas of the state. According to him, there is nothing like God, uh, not, nothing like that God cannot do. Hence, the decision for us to organize this prayer session for him to intervene in the affairs of pensioners. Gratuity and pension is a right and statutory, not bonus. We have labored and served our nation and states meritoriously for 35 years. We serve better than what we have been getting. Uh, we deserve that. They deserved. They served, and they deserve to get water. I mean, whatever they are asking for. Currently, the state government is owing us gratuity of one point eight billion naira, and I think that should be sorted out once, or in bits, depending on how what the capacity is like. Like. I think it can be carried along in the budget. Okay, we're going to do it in bits and what have you. He says, while the local government is owing our members 9 million, it is highly embarrassing and it appears government don't have time for us. 
we should not or we should be seen as a project as well like the way they do roads hospitals and school which of course i agree with each time there is a transition of power it's often difficult to agitate or confront the new governor because they will be quick to tell you that they were they are not the one owing us you can see the situation earlier an islamic cleric abdullah abdul mutalab urged the pensioners to build more faith in god expressing optimism that government would soon attend to their needs and i pray they do that very very quickly and you can see you know um this um old women and men holding placards you know saying give us our money you know um they free us from bondage and save our souls from government of deceits you know uh, I, I don't think we should get to that point where people begin to call on god because that could be that could be very disastrous you know well just drop your comments thank you very much for watching this is still serious matter of tv and we are not gone yet we'll bring you other updates as they unfold thank you